Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your boy Chicken Broth here, and today we're back in Blade and Sorcery, but today we're on PC, judging by how better it looks than Nomad, because Nomad looks dog shit compared to this. Um, yeah, so in today's video, we're gonna be um, um, checking out some mods, doing a little mod showcase. Um, yeah, uh, sorry for not uploading in a while. I've been having some technical issues and stuff like that, but yeah, I'm uploading now, so yeah, uh, enough chitty chatter. Let's just get over to the first mod. Now, the first mod is called the NPC Spawner made by... I forgot whose name it was, but I'm gonna put it on the screen for you. Um, sorry if a lot of the mods in this video are not gonna be said by me, because um, I, I keep forgetting your names, but I will put the names of the mod creators on the screen, so don't worry. The NPC Spawner is pretty, pretty simple. You charge the spell, white means dummy... Red means enemy, and blue means ally. Let's just start with dummy. Dummy is really, really simple. They don't do anything. They just sit there. They're basic. They're static in the head, so like they, ah! they don't do anything. They just, they just sit there and just you can just play around with them. And yeah, they don't do anything to you. Red means enemy. So if you spawn them in, you shouldn't be here. they will start to attack me. Yeah. And ally is kind of similar to the static enemy. Again, they don't do anything. They only do something when a enemy spawns in. And they will fight for you. you. Be here. Right now he's attacking me for some reason. Can you fight him? Like, there you go. Now they're fighting. Who's gonna win? I'm putting my money on this guy. Come on. Fight, damn it! Oh, okay, there you go. There's some action. Oh, he's bleeding. Okay, this is really... This is really boring. Yep. To be honest, I think my one was 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 winning for some reason my telekinesis isn't working but yeah the npc spawner is really really simple um yeah and it's a really really good quality of life um like feature if you want to like do some epic scenes like i don't know if you're trying to stuff about where did you come from <laughs> jesus yeah um if you want to do like a fight scene stuff like that um the sense you see spawn is very, very nice. It's just really cool. And the effects are really, really, really sick. Alright, this next mod is called the Mystic Hands, made by Linica? Linka? I'll put the name on the screen. Sorry if I butchered that, but it's pretty simple. Um, enable the spell, and you get a pair of Mystic Hands. And you can use them to move around, grab enemies, actually. Let me spawn an enemy. You can just grab him, slam him. Another cool thing, if you if you do a fist and you hit the ground, it will do a little shockwave, which is really, really cool. Another thing, if you have the mod spell equipped and you press the spell button and then grip and trigger, you can change it to a, um, to like a robot hand, which makes you feel like um, Otto Octavius from the Spider-Man movies, which is really, really fun. I think this is my preferenced um uh the mystic hand thing the skin i don't know but yeah this mod is really really cool it's really useful if you just want to get to a part of a map really really quick or without having to use gravity and it's really, really fun you can just crawl around houses yeah it's cool Alright, this next mod is a little bit more complica compl complicated, like my speech. Um, it's called the Firearms Mod, made by Ghetto. This mod is really, really sick. Um, basically, it's really simple. Just adds a bunch of cool different guns into the game that are fully customizable. I'm talking down to the slide, all the way down to the, which trigger or firing hammer you want on your... On your pistol which is really sick and yeah an AR which is really sick as a laser foregrip sight 
and, and I mean you could customize everything. The sight, the grip, the barrel, the, 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 the thing that surrounds the barrel, the receiver, the charging handle, the stock, the trigger, the grip. I mean, there's so many customizable stuff. I'm, I'm literally just going to show it to you. So, first you want to select what gun you want to customize, or if you just want like a simple gun that you don't want to customize, you just scroll all the way down and find ghetto's firearm tools here are all the pre-built firearms these firearms are already made for you so i don't know spawn this ak oh it's kind of buggy hold on yeah see the gun is already made for you mag and everything just rack the slide and yeah and fire away if you want to make your own one you want to go down and see all the pistols, so the Glocks, and the 1911 family, Beretta, SIG, revolvers, SMGs, shotguns, assault rifles. Let's just start off with assault rifles. Let's say you want to make M4. You start off with this thing. It may, not look, it may not look like much, but it's got potential. So you want to go over here. By the way, this is a little save thing. So once you've made your weapon, you put it in here and click save and you get to save your like weapon so you don't have to keep rebuilding and building it every time you play another blade and sorcery game so how to customize it you put it in this little vise and now let's start charging handle imma just do like a quick one imma just like a bunch of stuff receiver um barrel imma do that one you know imma do this one Muzzle, gas block, suppressor, I'm going to put that, handguard, I'll put this one, foregrip, tactical right, put a rail, then select your tactical, laser, tactical bottom, well, that's just more stuff, scope, I'm going to just put that. Rear sight, uh, I think that's, yeah, that's the aiming, aiming thing. Stock, or oh, receiver reskin. There you go. We literally just built ourselves a brand new M4, which is really, really sick. To find a mag for it, you go up, I think. Is it up or down? Yeah, there you go. It's the mag, and these are the mags. Um, I forgot which mag it, what, what the, no. Uh, I forgot which mag it was for this gun. Is it this one? Can I grab the mag? Nope. It's not that. Oh, fuck. Is it this one? Nope. Is it this one? Nope. Is it this one? Nope. Can I find a suitable magazine for this gun? Or is that just not a not possible? Apparently not. Uh you, you yeah, but you get the gist. Build the gun, find the mag, and just have fun. Same thing applies to the pistols, revolvers, SMGs, literally everything. You can customize every every single gun in this weapon pack. And there's over fur there's more than 1,300 different weapon custom uh, combinations. More than 1,300. That is insane for being a mod. That is just crazy. And the, and the guns just feel so realistic. The slide feels... The slide is a little bit iffy because you can do that. But if you just make it look realistic, you wouldn't have to deal with that very long slide. Yeah, this is a really cool mod. Now this next mod is called More Slots, made by, I forgot the name, but it's really simple. It basically puts more slots on your character, so you, you have a mouth slot. Oh. You have the, if I can grab, can I grab the gun? Two chest slots. There you go. Um. I think you have an arm slot. But I can't get that to work. Um, a leg slot on both of your legs. Um, uh, a back slot. There's like a slot on your on your like bottom hip, on your back hip. 
Um, yeah, it just it's a really good quality of life if you want to have like multiple guns, because if you want multiple guns, you're good in your like multiple ammo pouches, and um, yeah, it's kind of inconvenient to just have basically only like a couple areas to put ammo pouches, and then where are you gonna put the guns? So it's a really good quality of life if you want to rock with um, multiple guns <laughs> or just multiple weapons. Now these next two mods are called um, Buoyant Bodies and Cleanse, both made by Huge Honor. It's very, very simple on what they do. Let's just get like an NPC. Ah! 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 <sighs> Let's just kill an NPC. And the Buoyant Bodies, what it does is makes them float. Very similar to real life. And also, it cleans their blood. So you see, she's a little bit bloody. And now she's not, which is really, really cool. Another another thing with um with cleanse, hold on. Yeah, let me get your axe. Let me just make this axe um, bloody. Yeah, as you see, this axe is very bloody. All we do is just dip it in water and look at that. Good as new. Let's make it bloody again. There you go. I think we can just wipe the blood off with our hands. Yeah, look at that. This is really cool. So if you're in a fight and there's no water, you can just... And yeah, just good as new. Now this next mod is it's called Realistic Bleeding. And you've already seen it when I brutally murdered these NPCs. Realistic bleeding is very simple. It makes the characters realistically bleed. So, um, I think I dropped my knife somewhere, but we can just start off with this. If you punch them in the nose, I think we'll start to nose bleed. Can you bleed from the nose? She's not bleeding from the nose, which is weird but hold on ah! yeah let me just stab this guy <laughs> look at that it's starting to drip which is really cool and it drips on the floor oh there's the nosebleed and if he goes down far enough <laughs> yeah there's blood splatters on the floor ah! <laughs> which is really really cool and it adds a lot of realism to the game so yeah um, so have fun with that, you psychopaths. Now this last mod is called Laser Eyes, made by... Forgot the name, I'll put it on the screen. Um, actually no, I actually want to show one more mod after this. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's called Laser Eyes. It's pretty simple. Equip the mod. And you get laser eyes. Oh my god, I just cut him in half. Damn. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the game still thinks he's still here, but it's he's not. Hold on. His torso's still alive. His torso was still alive. That was that was kind of creepy. Wait, let's do that again. Ah, huh. that's um, that's not normal. And I grabbed it. Well, that's weird. Alright. So now this is the last mod. This mod is called, um, Time Stop, made by... Oh, oh, shit. I forgot the name, but I'll put it on the screen. It's pretty simple. What it does, press it. And it stops time. So you can just... Hold on. Oh, shit. What the... Where did she go? <gasps> I'm not even gonna question. Let's do that again. Stop time. Wait, I think I can take his... Yeah. There you go. And then we just killed him and he didn't even know. Which is really cool. What's he doing? What the? Huh? My boy's levitating. Hold on. 
he's like he's like falling in like very slow motion. That's weird. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the video there. I'm sorry that if the video was a little bit short. Um, I'm not sure if it was short because I'm recording. I don't know how long I was recording for, but I'm sorry if it was short. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry I haven't uploaded in like um, two weeks. Uh, I was kind of busy with some stuff, but I'm back. Uh, next week, I'm gonna definitely post. Definitely posting next week on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So stay tuned for that. I'm not sure what am I going to post, but I'm definitely going to post something. So, yeah. Give me some time. On my Discord, I actually might do a little poll on, like, what you guys want me to do for my next video. So, if you guys want me to do that, um, I'll put my link to my Discord in the description so you can join and tell me. So, yeah. Other than that, um, I'm probably going to head out. You know, so, yeah. Peace, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.